to the woman that saved my life by changing her mind at the last second. 20 years ago, she was only 17, dropping out of high school due to pregnancy. Telling me, even though she wasn't expecting me, she still thanks God every day that she was blessed with me. Went through hard times, working part-time, abandoned by my dad. She had a hard life. Stepdad came, but the income stayed the same, so the bills were still paid late. But they always made sure that they filled my plate first. Had me thinking we were rich in Maine. I was too young to understand financial situations until sixth grade when the kids would make fun of my kicks from painless and hand me down clothes with rips they came with. I started asking for food, boo, and K-Swiss. Mom couldn't afford it, still she paid it Just so I could feel like I had something Even though I didn't know we really had nothing we Didn't even know that my mom and dad were giving me a better life than both of them had Just so I won't have to starve or ever leave my whole life thrown in the trash The whole time I had the greatest parents in the world And I didn't even know what I had So I learned being broke really wasn't so bad Because of my family teaching me that you don't have to have money too ever have to live happily. Cause there's so much more in this world to live for than green paper that causes so much discourse. So see with me if you've ever been poor. So loud all of our voices get hoarse. I like buying things, nice things like white gold rings and diamonds and bling but I don't need this for my happiness and a man who needs nothing has no weakness. I think about all the things I've wanted to realize that man put a value on and it's worthless and the real important things in life you can't put a value on them. Materialism, commercialism, totalitarianism they're practically synonyms. They're calling our mind and desire, striking a match, lighting a fire, making us buyers instead of suppliers of righteousness that our kids can admire. So it's time to rewind the system, because I'm getting tired of this shit. A human being is worth a lot more than what's in his or her bank account, but it truly seems that your occupation and salary is what today's about. We're crazy about the green, the cash rules everything around me, which may be a true statement, but pondering on it, I don't want to be ruled by an honoring object. What kind of swag is that? That's the American dream, you can have it back. G Clef is more than just stacking stacks, which is why I'm plastic like Cracker Jack. So quit asking where the cash is at, you should really be wondering where the passion's at. I know what mine is, you don't have to ask. I owe that to my mom and my dad. No amount of words I can ever say describe how grateful I am for an angel like you. From the day that you gave me life, you stayed by my side, so this page I write for you. I fight for you, I die for you, and when you're sad, I cry for you. Cause you're the ray of light that shine on me day and night, keeping me out of the Shades to walk a bloom. I want to say that you raised me right. Wouldn't get far if I didn't take advice from you. Get a blame for amazing things I do. Now, when my words, I'm changing lives like you. I'd fight for you. I'd die for you. And when you're sad, I'll smile for you. And when you can't, I'll try for you. And when you fall, I'll die to you. So, do you this song I sing? Mama, have I ever told you how much I love you? I love you. And Mama, have I ever told you I don't know what above you? Above you and Mama, have I ever showed you how much I love you? I love you. If I have it, then Mama, Mama.